Hello, I'm Chris Edmonds of the Purposeful Culture Group. Here's today's Culture Leadership Charge for Smart Brief. Are your organization's leaders pushing for employees to get back into the office? Zoom, the video conferencing giant, recently announced a policy change that requires employees who live near a company office to be on site two days a week. Google, Amazon, and Salesforce have also enacted policies like this in the last few months. KPMG's new CEO Outlook study might provide some insight for us. They found that 64% of CEOs believe there will be a full return to the office by 2026, and that 87% of CEOs are likely to reward employees who come into the office with favorable assignments, raises, and promotions. These leaders discount the significant benefits for employees, like job satisfaction, better health, and less stress, plus significant benefits for employers, including better results, decreased turnover, and reduced absenteeism. What beliefs are behind this return to work requirement for so many companies? We believe that these beliefs are grounded in a common malady. Many senior leaders suffer from what we call BMS, Boomer Male Syndrome. BMS sufferers can be identified by their reliance on old school industrial age leadership beliefs, practices, and behaviors. In our book, Good Comes First, co-author Mark Babbitt and I introduced this concept, noting that not every BMS sufferer is a boomer or a male. BMS afflicted leaders ensure that every leader they hire, be they men, women, people of color, etc., behaves as they do. BMS afflicted senior leaders lack empathy and vulnerability. They fail to show any curiosity about how to make their work culture better. And they demonstrate the inability to build mutually beneficial relationships with fellow leaders, with employees, and even customers. One additional red flag, BMS sufferers don't trust that employees are really working hard when they're remote. Those leaders want control, and they believe making employees come back to the office is a means of wielding that control. Gen Z players will not tolerate BMS practices. So, how do you cure BMS? The first step is that senior leaders must stop and observe the impact that their autocratic practices have on relationships, results, and respect across their workplace. The second step to curing BMS requires senior leaders to simply treat others with respect and validation no matter where they work. Don't let BMS sufferers crush your work culture. What have I missed? What questions do you have? Add your comments or post your questions on my YouTube channel.